Welcome to Cornerstone Faith Assembly, to one of you, you are all welcome to your father's house. Karibuni katika kanisa la Cornerstone Faith Assembly, mekaribishwa katika nyumbe baba yeyu. This is a city where grace and love abide. Mahali hapa ni mji ya mbamo na ema na upendo vinadumu. Tell your neighbor, and this place I belong. Mwambie jirani na hapa mimi inastahili. Today the Lord has an answer to your prayer. Leo buwana anajibu kwa mwambie yako. Today God is going to meet you at the point of your name. Leo buwana atakutana na ema. As we worship and minister to the Lord. So let us join together in this service. Invite your friends. Share the link. You are all welcome to this service. As we praise God and worship God together. In Jesus' name. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we exalt you this afternoon. There is no one like you. Jesus. You deserve all our praise. You deserve all our honor and adoration, O God. And we know that you are here, dear Father, and you are here, Father, Lord of might, to meet us, O God. And we are here for you, Jesus, just to declare of your praises, to declare that there is no other apart from you, Jesus, sir. to declare, dear God, that all other gods are just but works of men, O God. But you alone are the true God Almighty, seated by God, the resurrected King of our Father, making intercession for us, O God. We are here to worship you, Jesus, to say that you are highly exalted up, to say that you are highly lifted up, O oh God, and there is no other that can be equal than to you, Jesus, up, because you alone, dear Father, are highly magnified, O oh God. You are the Jesus. We worship Jesus. to Hakuna mwingine kama wewe wewe Mungu baba yangu na kuinua na kwa
exalted. Holy and most of you are. Mighty and everlasting God is your name. There is none like you, Jesus.
Father. Thank you for your mercies, O God. None is likened to thee, O God. We praise your name. Thank you that you're here together with us. And thank you for every person that is watching, O God. We invite your presence in our midst, O God. And thank you that you're ministering to us this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let us clap to the Lord for he is good and his mercy is endures forever. I thank God for this opportunity that God has given us. It is a new day. Thank God that we are together again. I want to thank the leadership of Cornerstone Faith Assembly for inviting me to share the word with us. Thank Bishop uh, Dr. Francis M. Kamau and the pastoral team and the leadership of Cornerstone Faith Assembly. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall be grand in it. Praise the Lord. I want us to go straight to the word of God. And the title of the message today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Focus on your business. Lenga biashara ayako. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't mind other people's business. Acha kujishugulisha na biashara za watu wengine. In other words, uh, 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 mind your own business. Kwa njia nyingine, angalia kuwa na shuguli na mambo yako mwenyewe. Praise the Lord. In the book of John chapter 21, 
Yohana 21 in the uh, verse 19 mstari wa 19 the bible says biblia yasema and now it is jesus talking to peter huyu ni yesu akiongea na petero and let us start from verse 18 tuanze mstari wa 18 most certainly i tell you ama kweli nitawaambia when you are young ulipokuwa mchanga you dressed yourself ulijivalisha and walked where you wanted to na ukatembea kokote ulikohitaji kutembea but when you are old lakini utakapozeeka you will stretch out your hands utanyosha mikono yako and another person will dress you na mtu mwingine atakuvalisha mavazi and carry you where you don't want to go na atakubeba mahali ambapo hautaki kwenda verse 19 he said this 19 akasema hili signifying by which kind of death Peter could die ikiwa ishara kifo ambacho Petero angekufa that would glorify God itakayomtukuza Mungu when he had said this aliposema haya he said to him akamwambia follow me nifate bibo continues to say na tuendelee kusema then Peter turning around inaendelea kusema kwamba Peter kageuka he saw a disciple following na akaona wanafunzi wakifuata This is the disciple whom Jesus loved. Huyu ni yule mwanafunzi ambaye Yesu alimpenda. The one whom he had also leaned on Jesus. Na yule ambaye alikuwa amegemea kifua cha Yesu. At the supper and asked. Wakati wa mamkuli ya jioni na akauliza. Lord who is going to betray you? Bwana ni nani atakaye kusaliti? Peter seeing him said to Jesus. Petero akimuona akasema akasema akamwambia Yesu. What about this man? Na habari na kwa habari ya huyu mtu sinai itakuwaje? Jesus said to him. Yesu akamwambia. If I desire that he may stay uh, stay alive. Nikitamani yeye endelee kuishi hai. Until I come. Hadi nitakaporudi. What is that to do with you? Sasa hiyo wewe ni shughuli yako namna gani? You follow me. Wewe nifuate. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I Jesus talked about how Peter will die. Yesu aliongea habari ya kifo cha Petero. And it is a death that will glorify God. Na kifo ambacho kingemfanya Mungu atukuzwe. And after Jesus said that to Peter, na baada ya Yesu kumwambia Petero hivi, He told Peter, akamwambia Petero, Follow me. Nifuate. And they started walking. Na akaanza kutembea. And as they were walking, walipokuwa watembea Peter looked back Petero kaangalia nyuma and saw another disciple following na akaona mwanafunzi mwingine akimfuata Yesu Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe I want us to focus together Nataka tulenge pamoja Jesus is talking about how the life of Peter will be up to the end Yesu anaongea habari ya maisha ya Petero vile itakavyokuwa kama mwisho na anamwambia Petero Your business is to follow me biashara yako ni kunifuata So after Jesus said this he said to him Na baada ya Yesu kusema hivyo akamwambia Follow me nifuate So both of them are moving towards the same direction Kwa hivyo wote wawili wanaelekea mwelekeo mmoja Peter is following Jesus Petero anamfuata Yesu Kristo Because from this hour forward kwa sababu kutoka sasa kuendelea I the Lord knows how you will die Mimi Bwana najua jinsi utakavyokufa And I have designed your death will glorify God Na kando ya kifo chako utukufu wa Mungu utaonekana And the only thing that is required of you Na kinachohitajika kwako sasa Jesus said follow me Yesu kamwambia nifuate From now until you die tangu sasa hadi kifo chako your work is to follow me kazi yako ni kunifuata where you will go popote utakapoenda it is i who knows ni mimi nijua what you will do chochote utakachofanya it is i who will direct ni mimi nitakayeelekeza everything about you from this day forward chochote kuhusu wewe kutoka sasa kuendelea your business is to follow me biashara yako ni kunifuata but look at what peter did lakini angalia kile ambacho petero alifanya as he was following jesus alipokuwa anamfuata yesu kristo peter looked back Petero akaangalia nyuma and he saw a disciple na akaona mwanafunzi following them akiwafuata and he asked the lord na akamuuliza bwana lord sasa bwana what about him na sasa habari ya huyu itakuwaje and jesus asked him na yesu akamuuliza what does it concern you sasa hii 
inakuhusu namna gani I told you to follow me Nilikuambia unifuate Leave those who are behind behind Achana na walio nyuma wakae nyuma You follow me Wewe nifuate Leave other people's business Achana biashara za wengine I have not talked about them Mimi sijaongea habari yao My relationship with you is personal Uhusiano wangu na wewe ni wa kimo I have told you to follow me Nimekuambia unifuate Leave the others alone Achana na wale wengine There is what I have talked to them about them kile ambacho niliwazungumzia habari zao wewe usijali wanaenda wapi it does not concern you si habari yako hiyo your work is to follow me kazi yako ni kunifuata mie so jesus asked peter na yesu kamuuliza petero if i say that he will live now i have told you that you will how you will die mimi nimekuambia habari za kifo chako if i say that he will live until i come back na nikiamua ya kwamba huyu jamaa ataishi hadi nitakaporejea what does that concern you sasa hiyo kwako ina nini and i'm talking to you my friend naongea na wewe rafiki yangu your relationship with jesus christ is so personal uhusiano wako na yesu kristo ni wa kibinafsi that he has told you to follow him kwamba amekuambia umfuate whatever you and jesus are doing belongs to both of you chochote ambacho wewe na Yesu mnafanya ni chenu don't look back usiangalie nyuma whether others are following or they are not following wengine wafuate wasifuate whether they are seeing that you are following or they cannot see kama wanaona ukifuata ama hawaoni your business is to follow biashara yako ni kufuata don't concern yourself with other people's business usijishughulishe na mambo ya watu wengine leave the other people alone achana na watu wengine whether they are following or they are not following aidha wafuate ama wasifuate and the bible says joshua said na biblia inasema kwamba yoshua said choose you today whom you will follow chagueni ninyi leo mtakayemfuata but as for me and my house ila kwangu mimi na nyumba yangu utamhudumia bwana once you decide to follow the law utakapofanya uamuzi wa kufuata bwana don't mind other people's business achana na biashara za watu wengine leave them alone achana nao then after that baada ya hiyo the bible says biblia inasema now peter sing him a uh, Jesus said to him what does that concern you? Yesu kamwambia hiyo inakuhusu nini wewe? Saying this therefore, akisema haya basi, went out among brothers. Akaenda miongoni mwa wandugu. And other disciples. Na wanafunzi wengine. And he said, na akasema, that this disciple could not die. Kwamba hawa wanafunzi hawa angelikufa. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die. Bali hilo silo Bwana Yesu alikuwa amesema kwamba hilo hatakufa. But Jesus said, Lakini Yesu akasema, If I desire that he would uh, stay until I come. Nikitamani huyu aishi mpaka nirudi. What is that to you? Hiyo inakuhusu namna gani wewe? Tell your neighbor eneza fununu. Aha. Talking about other people's business kuongea habari ya watu wengine rather than doing what you and the lord are supposed to be doing badala ya kufanya kile ambacho wewe na bwana mnatarajia kufanya now we are talking about three people here tunaongea habari ya watu watatu hapa we have jesus tuko na yesu we have peter tuko na petero we have the disciple that is following tuko na wa mwanafunzi anayefuata who told the others about this disciple nani aliyewaambia wengine kumhusu huyu mwanafunzi definitely it is not jesus si yesu And it is not the disciple. Na si wanafunzi. So it is Peter. Kwa hivyo ni Petero. Peter's business up to when he will die. Ah uh, biashara ya Petero hadi uh, kifo chake. Jesus said to him follow me. Yesu alimwambia nifuate. But now he is concerning himself with other people. Lakini sasa anajihuzisha na watu wengine. Jesus this one is following us. Ya kwamba huyu naye anatufuata Bwana Yesu huyu. Now what about him? Na huyu ambaye anatufuata habari zake namna gani? Now and then after that na baada ya hayo the other disciples wanafunzi wale wengine heard that Jesus said wakasikia kwamba Yesu alisema he will not die ya kwamba atie hatakufa who told them nani aliyewaambia so peter stopped following jesus kwa hivyo petero alikoma kumfuata yesu and turned back to go to the other disciples akageuka kuelekea wanafunzi wale wengine kuambia that he will not die kwamba huyu ambaye tunamwongea habari yake hatakufa now your business was to follow jesus biashara yako ilikuwa kumfuata yesu christ umerudi kueneza fununu why have you gone to uh, spread rumors you are, you are concerning yourself with other people's business unajihuzisha na kazi ya watu wengine that you have stopped to doing what you are supposed to do hivi kwamba umeacha kufanya kile ambacho unahitaji kuona fanya whatever you are doing 
Be focus. Uh, lenga. Praise the Lord. Lenga. And the meaning of focus. Na maana ya kulenga. Follow one course until success. Ni kumaanisha ufuatilie jambo moja hadi fanaka ipatikane. Follow one course until success. Fuata jambo moja mpaka fanaka ipatikane. If you have not succeeded in what you're doing. Kama haujafaulu katika kile ambacho unafanya. Do not stand back. Usigeuke nyuma. Your work is to follow. Lako ni kufuata. Look forward. Angalia mbele. Because when you turn back. Maana unapoangalia nyuma. You will see something that needs to be reported to others. Utaona mambo ya kuenda kuwapelekea wengine. And you will stop doing what you are doing. Na utaacha kufanya yale And you will start now turning around. Na utaanza kugeuka geuka hapa na pale. To take reports to other people. Kupeleka habari kwa watu wengine. But not doing what you are supposed to be doing. Bila kufanya kile ambacho unastahili kuwa unafanya. Focus. Lenga. Follow one course until success. Watilia jambo moja hadi fanaka ipatikane. You are not yet dead Peter. Kama haujaanza mwambie Petero. Don't stop following Jesus. Usikome kumfuata Yesu. Follow until you die. Fuate hadi kifo. Because that is what the Lord told you. Maana ndicho Bwana Yesu alikwambia. The Lord says I know where you are headed for. Na Yesu akasema anajua mahali unaelekea. Until you get there. Hadi ufike pale. Don't stand back. Usigeuke. I know your business where it is headed for. Unajua mahali biashara yako inaelekea. Until yelekea. you get there. Hadi upate ufike pale. Don't stand back. Usigeuke juma. We have got other side businesses that are coming up tuna mambo kando kando ambayo yanakuja hapa na pale to mislead you from focusing kukupotosha don't mind what is around usiangalie kando na kando look forward angalia mbele if you forward an issue before the lord ukipeleka jambo lolote mbele ya bwana make sure you follow up to the end hakikisha kama unafuata hadi mwisho praise the lord bwana sifiwe people will always be around watu kila wakati watakuweko they will always talk about you watakuongea they know what is better for you watajua yaliyo bora kuliko wewe don't mind them Usiwajali. They know what you are supposed to do and what you are not supposed to do. Hawajui wanaohitajiki kufanya na ambao hawahitajiki kufanya. They know what you are supposed to do and what you are not supposed Wanajua, to do. Wanajua unayohistahili kufanya na usiyostahili kufanya. Don't mind them. Usiwajali. Focus. Ah, lenga. Praise the Lord. Amen. Whatever you have started to do, ambacho umeanza kufanya, focus. Lenga. Don't mind who is with you or against you. Usijali aliye upande wako ama kinyume chako. Don't mind the other people's opinion. Usijali maoni ya watu wengine. You just focus. Lako ni kulenga. And you will get to glorify God. Na utafika mahali pa kumtukuza Mungu. You will mungu. live to be a testimony that is glorifying Utaishi God. Utaishi kuwa ushuhuda utakao mtukuza Mungu. In the book of John chapter 5. Katika Yohana 5. The Bible says. Biblia sema that there was a man ya kwamba kulikuwa na, na mtu this man is a is a cripple huyo mtu huntu alikuwa kiwete he cannot walk alikuwa hawezi kutembea in the book of uh, john chapter 5 katika kitabu cha yohana 5 and the bible says the biblia sema in the uh, verse 2 mstari wa pili near there is in, in jerusalem a pool kulikuwa na kizima kule yerusalemu this pool is in hebrew called bethesda na kile kizima kwa kihebrania iliitwa bethsaida having five porches kikikuwa na birika tano. Birika tano. In this place katika mahali hapa we have a great number of people in the book of John chapter 5 kulikuwa na umati mkubwa wa watu a great number of people watu umati mkubwa wa watu who are sick waliokuwa wagonjwa who are blind ambao walikuwa vipofu some are crippled wengine walikuwa viwete and some are paralyzed na wengine walikuwa wamekufa ganzi they are waiting for the waters to be stirred wanangoja maji yachibuliwe for an angel every time could come kwa sababu malaika kila wakati alikuwa kila mwaka alikuwa anakuja get in the water and stir the water anachibua maji and whoever gets in first na yule atakayeingia kwanza would be cured of whatever disease which they were sick angeliweza kuponywa ugonjwa aliyokuwa nao now there was a certain man na sasa kulikuwa na mtu fulani who have been there for 38 years aliyekuwa amekaa pale miaka 38 jesus comes and noticed this man yesu akaja na kamuona jamaa huyu remember verse 3 kumbuka mstari wa 3 there are a great crowd of people kuna umati mkubwa wa watu who are lame ambao ni viwete paralyzed ambao wamekufa ganzi 
Blind. A great cloud of people. They are gathered there. Jesus noticing that this man has been here for long. And Jesus said to him, Would you like to be well? Would you like to be well? And then the man said, Sir, you have said that you are a man. You have said that you are a man. When the water is hard to put me in the water and every time I try to somebody else gets in before me. And that is the reason why I have been here for about eight years. The question was one. Would you like to be healed? And his answer was this. I don't have a man to put me in the water. And every time I try to, someone else gets before me. Praise the Lord. We are talking of minding other people's business. The question was, do you want to be healed? The answer was, someone else goes before me. So, even if you have got healing, before I receive the healing I know someone else will go before me so his business is to watch other people succeed in what they have come to do they go before me and they, are, they get healed so my business turned I came here to be healed but these days I don't need healing my my work is to watch other people coming and getting into the water, receiving their healing and going home. I have been watching for 38 years. So, my, my desire is no longer healing. I am here to watch other people get healed. Now, the question is let's go back to verse 3. In this place Mahali hapa, lay a great number of sick people. Some blind, some crippled, some paralyzed, some blind. All these people who is able to put the others on the water? So all these people that are gathered here, nobody has somebody. Because they all want to be healed. If you are a cripple, you can't push others to the water because you need healing for yourself. If you are blind, you cannot push others to the water because you need to see. If you are paralyzed, you can't push anybody to the waters because you need the healing. So everybody needed healing. And here is one of them who is like all the others. And what he is telling us, I don't have somebody to put me in. They all don't have somebody to put them in. They are all willing to get in. So you don't need somebody to put you in. Your problem is one. Every time I try, somebody else gets in before me. Your problem, my sister, my brother, you are not focused to what you are supposed to be doing. You are watching what others are doing. And that is the reason why you've been there trying. Because he said, Every time I try, somebody else gets in before me. Because the other person is not trying. They came here in serious business. Stop trying. 
and do what you ought to do. If you are purposed to succeed, stop trying. Because as you are trying, somebody else will succeed before you. Do what you are supposed to be doing. Every time you am trying, but somebody else gets before me. So the question is, do you want to get, to get healed? Do you want to get there? Do you want to succeed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stop trying. Do. The question was, do you want to be healed? It doesn't matter how long I've been here. Yes, I want to be healed. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is the reason why I've been here. I came here to be healed. If you want to be healed, then Jesus said, Rise up and take your bed. That is all it takes. You came here to be healed. Rise up and take your bed. And he rose up. And this is your message today. Stop trying. Don't mind other people's business. This man stayed there for 38 years. He came here to receive healing. He found a great, a, a great multitude of people who also came to be healed. They all got together a great crowd. And every time I try, Somebody else gets in before me. Your word today, my sister, my brother. Whatever you want to do in life, line up with Jesus Christ. Make sure that you are following the lead of Jesus Christ. And if you are sure that you are following the footsteps of Jesus, don't stand back because your answer is not behind. Don't look at who is supporting and who is not supporting. Don't look at who is following and who is not following. Listen to what the Lord is telling you. The Lord is telling you, you follow me. Don't look at how many people are following. The Lord did not say, you follow me together with the others. It is too personal. It belongs to you. That which you desire. It does not belong to us. It belongs to I. It is me. It is, he is talking to me. It is I who is focusing to succeed. So I have decided I will focus no matter what. I will follow no matter what. One thing I desire it is to hear what the Lord is telling me. The Lord asked this man do you want to be healed? The Lord saw so many people. But he did not talk to them. Because the Bible says, Jesus noticed this man. They were all there. But he noticed this man. Praise the Lord. Amen. God will not notice everybody for what belongs to you. This message does not belong to everybody. It belongs to you. Not all. They are around you. They all need this message. It belongs to you. And the Lord is asking you, do you want to? Not all of them. The Lord can see them. The Lord knows them by their names. But he is calling it to you. And the Lord is asking you, do you want to? Not everybody. 
So the Lord has noticed you. And the Lord is talking to you. Don't stand back to check any other person. Don't say that this message belongs to Jane. This message belongs to Moses. The message belongs to you. And the Lord is looking at you. And the Lord is asking you, do you want not any other person the Lord knows that they are there and the Lord knows that they have come for healing. If you are listening to this, God is talking to you and he is asking you, do you want leave others alone don't look back to check who is there they all need to hear this don't mind them the Lord is talking to you this is your day to stop minding other people's business. Focus until success. success. Do not stand back. Look at what the Lord is offering you. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows the way through the wilderness. All you've got to do is to follow. You are in darkness. He is the light. And what he is telling you today, follow me. So we come to Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He will lead me. Even if I pass through the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil because of who is ahead of me. I will follow. No matter what, I will follow without looking back. Doesn't matter how the way looks like, I will follow. Doesn't matter how how fearful it is. It doesn't matter how complicated it seems. Follow. Because that is what the Lord is saying. The angel had not come to stir the water. But all the Lord said to him is, do you want to? He needed no angel. He needed the Lord. And the Lord is asking, do you want to? And the man is telling every time the angel comes the angel is not coming today. The Lord himself has come today and he is talking to you. Do you want to Stop giving reasons. Arise and shine. For your light has come. This is your day. Arise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory of God is shining on you. If you hear the voice of the Lord, arise and take position. For the Lord is talking to you in Jesus' name. Father, we thank Thank you. Thank you for your word today. Thank you that we need to focus because you're talking to us. Look at that brother arising and he is following. Fulfill the desires of his heart. Look at that sister Jehovah. Meet her at the point of her need. In the name of Jesus. May you walk with us, O God, to fulfillment, to the glory of your name. We thank you, we bless your name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We thank God for his word. And the Lord is doing it for you. Today, is the Lord that the, is the day that the Lord has made in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah it is in a worship chorus hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah
fanya maajabu ame fanya maajabu huyu yesu ame fanya maajabu maajabu ame fanya maajabu si I want us to get into our pockets and prepare to give. Let us give into the house of the Lord. As we go back to the word, focus in what you're giving. As you give, it will open the door. So there is a number in your screen you can use what is on your screen. You can send your offering. Love offering and all the types of offering that you would like to give. Paying your tithe. It is good to do it in the house of the Lord. There is a, a number in your screen, you can use that. And God will bless you mightily. Let us pray as we give. Father, we thank you for every giver. As we give towards your work. Thank you that you're doing what pertains to those who give and you're touching our lives oh God you're blessing every person that is giving you are rebuking the devourer on our behalf and everything about us is blessed our waters are blessed our food is blessed our going out is blessed. Our coming back is blessed. We thank you in Jesus' name. Prepare to give in Jesus' name. Give and the Lord will bless you. Thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of us. May the hand of God be upon your life. And from this day forward, walk in the newness of life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.